Now, first we had push-ups. Yes. Then we had possum spotting. Mm. And now we've got this. That's quite touchy already. Telling me I'm beautiful and he's telling me I'm great. You got amazing. Just time for another bridal kiss for me, guys. I'm not feeling it at this stage. I'm a good babe. I wouldn't say that I'm the Ferrari uh, of the car yard, but I, I think I'm a, a pretty attractive BMW. Sorry about the breath. I just had some chicken twisties. Oh, oh. Oh, was there no fairy bread available? You what? <laughs> <laughs> you did what before getting married? Let's unpack that moment now with the newlyweds. Kate, Matt, good morning to you. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Kate. David. Morning, Sylvia. Kate, was it the chicken twisties that made you pull back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the chicken twisties. Poor Matt. He's never going to live that down. Um, I have to say it was a bizarre thing for him to say. Uh, and I was a bit like, hmm, that's a strange thing to say. But I actually did move on quite quickly from it. And... I'm pretty sure Matt carries breath mints wherever he goes now. Good. I think I do. I think I do. I, I just took a, a fleeting moment to to have a five minute snack, and the first thing I the first thing I see is some chicken twisties. So it's fair to say I was feeling a bit peckish. Yeah, yeah. Chicken, did you think about having a mint after Matt, or was that because like we've got some here, and if we're going to have the chicken twisties, a they're delightful. Strong. They're strong. They're strong. You can't want to pack that up with a mint. <laughs> yeah, there, there were a few cringeworthy moments last night, but uh, we, we, we got through. And uh, no, it was it was funny to watch back. Um, I can see why the experts have, have, have put us together, and, and it's definitely one of those relationships to keep an eye on. When we say, Matt, and you use the royal we there, we had a few cringeworthy moments. Mm. Do you mean you had a few cringeworthy <laughs> moments and that you've gotten through this, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> yes, David. Yeah, it was it was a bit like that. It was. Uh, I, I had a couple of mates over last night watching the, uh, the premiere of the wedding, and uh, there, there was plenty of laughs. And um, yeah, I, I had to walk out of the room a few times in, uh, in embarrassment. I, I'm sure if they're good friends, there was some constructive f feedback yeah, in there as the well. The BMW comment is the best. <laughs> <That's> terrific. <laughs> um, okay, so Kate, tell us what made yeah. you apply for Married at First Sight in the first place. Well, I have been single my whole life. Um, I have tried dating. It's not as if I haven't tried dating, but for me, it was I just wanted to try something else. Um, I wanted uh, the dating wasn't working for me, and I just wanted to give the experts a chance to just find somebody for me. And yeah, it's, it's shown it's worked in the past, so I was hoping that it would work now. So, yeah. You know, Matt, we're joking about how you, you know how you're acting and stuff like that, but when you look at the clips like that, part of me feels like. You were really trying to make it feel comfortable. Obviously, you had some nerves and were just overcompensating by trying to be overtly familiar. Is that, is that how it happened for you when you look back on it now? Absolutely, David. So I, when I turn around and I see Kate for the first time, I'm, I'm like a puppy dog because she's everything, everything that I'm looking for in a partner. She's beautiful, attractive, great smile, bright green eyes. And so I'm on cloud nine for the entire wedding night and... Yeah, I probably should have gone at a different speed. I probably should have read the room a little bit better. But I was just there to reassure her that she's with a great guy and that I am kind, I'm patient, Aww. I'm considerate. So, yeah. Okay. So, look, is it safe to say, Kate, that we can all move past the twisties moment? Is it behind us? I definitely have moved past the twisties moment. I, I have, I have. Uh, <laughs> I think we've all seen enough of the twisties moment. I think we can all move on from that now. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we can yet, Kate. You're I, running from it. Have you spoken to anyone at twisties yet? Because I see an ad campaign coming in too sweet. There's one right here. Uh, I'm seeing it too. I'm seeing it. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining too. us. Well done. Thank and we you. look forward to following your journey with great interest. Thanks. Married at First Sight continues right here on 9 at 7.30pm. Or, of course, you can catch up anytime on 9 now. Well, as one maths couple folds, three more enter the mix. Intruders Carolina and Dion tying the knot last night to begin the experiment. But you might say their wedding hit a little bit of a speed hump. Do you have the time? Yeah, it's one o'clock. Oh my God, one. really? Wow. One. Yeah. Oh like my one. God. Hey, we've been waiting here for like three hours. Oh my God, this is insane. We're running out of time here. We really need to get you moving. I know, but. I just hate how I look right now.
I kind of want to wash my whole face and start over again. I don't think we have time to wash your face. I, I, he can wait. Jeez. Not the best start, is it? Three hours? I thought 25 minutes was a lot waiting for my <laughs> wife at the altar. <laughs> And you knew her. I know, I knew her. <laughs> <laughs> For three years. Hey, Carolina and Dion, join us right now. Guy, uh, Carolina, what happened? Please explain to us and, and why you were so upset. Uh, hello, guys. Um, I guess I wasn't very happy with my hair and makeup and, you know, I just got really stressed out, didn't know what to do. Um, mm -hmm. And, yeah, I guess. Dion, you waited three hours. I mean, what were you thinking in that time? Did you wonder if she was even going to turn up? Yeah, look, I mean, I didn't really know what was going on. Um, you know, it was raining that morning and I just thought uh, maybe there's a bit of traffic in Sydney and uh, then I found out a little bit later what the hiccups were with uh, Carolina's makeup situation. But at the end of the day, it's her special day just as much as it is mine. So mm. if she wants to uh, make herself look more uh, appropriate and make herself happy, then that's no issue for me. Oh, look, I mean, what a sweetheart. I don't know oh, too wow. many guys who'd be OK with waiting three hours, Dion. I mean, I know you are one of Carl's very close friends. He absolutely yeah. loves you. He says that you are useless in love and that <laughs> he's so excited that you were, you, were on, you were on this. So, Carolina, I mean, I hope you're going to hold his heart dearly in your hands. Oh. He's a very good man. What was your first impressions of Dion when you saw him? So um, look, it was, uh, it was a sense of relief to finally, you know, be able to put a face uh, and, uh, and a name to the person that I was uh, going to marry and I had been wondering for days. Um, I did think he was very friendly, very kind, very warm, made me feel um, at ease, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, and were there sparks, Dion? Yeah, I thought they were, I felt sparks on the day and, uh, you know, hopefully yeah, those, those sparks continue. Ooh, this is promising start. Dion may have finally found love. Yeah. Carl is going to be so happy. <laughs> Good things um, come to those who wait three hours. And, uh, That's right. And, and, and Carolina, I know that um, you, have a, you have a son. Were That's you that. worried at all about, um, about sort of raising that with Dion? Were you worried about what, you know, what he might think or if he was going to be okay with it? Um, Look, I was, uh, I was, it was kind of like just trying to find the right moment because Dion and I, obviously we met at the altar and then uh, during the, the party there was, you know, so many people around us. So we didn't really have a, a one-on-one -one conversation to have to bring that up. So I was kind of just waiting the right time to bring this up. Um, I, I think it was more awkward than, I was more awkward than nervous, I guess. Mm -hmm. Right, Dan, what did you think? Yeah, look, it definitely came to me as a bit of a shock, um, but it's uh, tremendous for Carolina to come from a country not knowing any English, raising a son from the age of 15 years of age, and I really take my hat off to her for all she's accomplished and, and especially to take that leap and, uh, and continue to raise a child. Oh, and we know wow. Dion wants a big family. This is all... Yes, I oh, I can't wait to see how this one plays out, guys. Welcome to the experiment. Thank <laughs> and you, you can catch all the latest drama as MAFS continues tonight at 7.30pm on Channel 9. That's a winner, that one.